Well, if you know the Sahara restaurant near Carthage, you likely know Belva. In the kitchen, behind the bar, in the dining room, she does it all. And at 90 years old, this is her final weekend as owner as she sells the business. Here's 7 News reporter Thomas Caffarella. It's time to say goodbye. It's, it's hard. It's hard. Business is as usual for the Sahara restaurant near Carthage. Knives and forks set the tables, plates stacked in the kitchen waiting to be served, with early birds eating at the windows. All ready for a final Friday night crowd to fill up the dining room with Belva Hall as owner. I've enjoyed being here very much. I'll enjoy the people to no end. They've been wonderful to me. Oh my gosh, everybody's come with hugs and loves and glad for me to be retiring for my sake. Belva is 90 years old. Owner of Sahara since 1989, this kitchen is sort of a second home for Belva. Even with a loyal kitchen staff, she can still spring into action and serve up lasagna or whip up some Alfredo, all homemade. Well, everybody's going to miss my sauce. Before the Sahara, Belva spent 20 years owning a different restaurant. That's what happens when you're 90. You can, you have lots of things you've done. <laughs> When you enter the Sahara restaurant, the first thing you might see are the chairs and the tables. It looks like they're from the 60s, and according to Belva, that's intentional. Oh, I'm old, and so is this. This is, uh, you know, it's a 60s theme, and uh, people seem to love that it's been kept this way. The Sahara, perhaps stuck in time, but set to change, hands. Belva's final day of owning the restaurant is this Sunday, after more than half a century of keeping customers full. Thomas Caffarella, 7 News.